So continuing on to the next part, um, I'm trying to figure out what we need to do next. So, and the last thing that I was actually up to as well, I forgot what we were up to. I've just gone away for uh, between the two videos that I've done. This is actually a second recording. Okay. So I think the last thing that we did was basically change this live so that it was okay. Yeah, so that it was um, it was reducing, reduce the number of lives if you hit one of these oncoming blocks. Okay, that's right. Now, it looks like what we also need to do is give the players some feedback um, about when they actually hit something. Like, I just hit something there, but I couldn't really tell. So what we need to do is basically somehow show the player that they that they made a mistake that they hit the blocks because really the lives counter here people are not going to be looking around that that so much definitely not when they're actually playing the game so let me think by the way for those of you who are just tuning in this is um this is a developer diary i don't know how these videos are going to be caught up right now uh, they could be in, I think it's 10 minute segments on YouTube, um, but in case you're just tuning in, this is uh, basically a, a game developer diary of, of uh, building uh, Alpha Line Runner Impossible Game X for iPhone and Android using Unity 3D. Uh, the developer diaries are just simple, um, uh, almost like diary videos of me developing games and coding and just talking through things. Um, goal of it being is simply just so you, people can see how developers build games day to day but also to help some of the coders out there and maybe some people who want to also build games they might find this useful um, but I will be doing some more I will be starting to do tutorial videos as well actually structured tutorial videos which I will do soon so this is why um, I'm sort of like this just sat here now and, and sort of wandering around the screen and figuring out what to do next. This is what we do as game developers, you know, programmers, you know, especially. Uh, the next part and the next, especially the indie development scene, it's more about, you know, uh, thinking of design ideas and, and coming up with, you know, interesting things that we think might work just on the fly, just right now. We think, oh, you know, hey, this will work good. For example, the lives counter thing here. This was this was just something I thought to you know might work well in the game today. Having a lives counter because the game is very hard. It, it gets a little bit frustrating if if people um, uh, it's a little bit frustrating this game because it's so difficult and if you die too fast. So the idea with the lives counter really was just to make it a little bit easier, just a touch, but also to include an in-app purchase in the game so the players can buy more lives for the game if they like it. Um, so let me have a think how to do this thing. So we need some feedback. Feedback to the player that they did something wrong. What? <clears throat> because right now the player. Okay. I'm actually testing on my Mac as well. This is not actually on the iPhone. This is uh, this is inside of the Unity 3D level editor at the moment. This is the, the sort of game scene here, 2D and 3D world. So you can see how this is actually built. It's kind of interesting. When I, I remember when I first saw uh, a level editor like this, and I think it was with Unreal, and it was so interesting just to see how the scenes were constructed, you know, like these layers. And it was so cool for me, like, just to see past the... The sort of the width of the camera you know what happens at the sides and it's just you know it's just um sort of trees but then they just stop but because we only see this part we don't actually know what happens and when the character's running the trees are moving but the character isn't moving you know these kind of things it was really really cool when i first saw it um so i hope you guys are getting some kind of cool factor from this I hope I'm not boring people to death, who knows. We'll see. Comment if you like it, please. Subscribe, all that stuff. Um, and I can keep making more. So we need to give some feedback to the player on our lives. So 
something red. Red is a good indicator of things that that are wrong, that you've done wrong. Now, the particle system is usually a good way to do this. So Unity, this is actually, I think, version 3.4 of Unity, not the new Unity, which has a new particle system, um, sort of particle editor system in it. I've not used that one yet, but this one, this one's okay for what I'm thinking. Some kind of expanding red halo that would that would sort of say oops this was wrong you know and and also have the block disappear actually when it when it gets hit as well hmm. okay I think I have a halo image in here somewhere there we go halo glowing white it's actually blue right now, but we're going to change that to red anyway, so it doesn't matter. But all we want to do is so uh, with these particle systems, we should be able to see that in the middle there now. And all we want is one sort of circle that kind of expands out when whenever whenever it hits, whenever the character hits a an object that is not supposed to hit. So. Halo glowing white, so we're going to set that as the as the um, the particle image. Particle effects are just like basically um, like little kind of how can we say? Can we explain this? A uh, little bit difficult to explain as uh, um, in a sort of basic way. It's just little images that would pop up in the game, and, and but they don't actually affect gameplay. It's more of like special effects for the game. Uh, then some some particle effects do do affect gameplay, uh, but in this case it's just visual. It's just a representation, some feedback for the player to say, "Oh, I made a mistake," or something good happened, or whatever it may be that you want to achieve. So what we want to do is we want to do one shot, so that only plays once. We also want to auto destruct this particle system so that it it gets removed from memory after it's finished playing. And we want to expand it as well. What we want to do is make it grow bigger. So size grow like that. You can see uh, it's a little bit big. Yeah, it's a little bit large. And we also want to reduce it. Want the size. The time is too slow. So we want to put this at maybe zero point half a second. Maybe is okay. Let me just check actually, I did have a, because uh, that might not be a good representation circle, let me, I actually built a fireworks particle effect for. You see this, I think this looks okay, these, these, these fireworks effects, I think this is, this looks, this might represent okay, but it needs to be red. Red just because red means bad, and therefore people associate red with being a, a bad thing, and therefore it's 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 clearer. Uh, these are kind of sparks as well, I suppose, um, and they they look okay. I think these I think these are not too these are not too bad. Um, so just checking that's behind, actually behind the character there, which it is. Um, and I think what we need to do is basically, because the character is running to the right, we want to make it look like these sparks are actually flying away to the left. So I'm going to add a force to make it go to the left a little bit. So how this goes. Okay. I kind of like that white in the beginning. That seems to work quite nice. Mm. Possibly, possibly. This could... This could be okay. This could work. And then I'll just bring this a little bit closer. So 
So what happens if we add some white in there? Maybe, yeah, that's a little bit too much. I think we'll just white in the beginning is quite nice. 